Hello everyone, welcome to Nails of Interest. Today I'm going to try to use do a data cure on this hand. Maybe a little stripey tape, I'm not sure. But I want to let you know what I have on already. I already have on Model 1's below 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Two coats of that. One coat of White Queen. I'll put on the screen a picture of what the gel polish looks like by itself. This is what White Queen looks by itself on my nail versus this. I love that. I just love it, love it, love it. So I've got a bunch of their colors here, but I also put on the She Modern Glue Gel because a few people didn't understand that I'm going to stamp all these stampers are here. I'm going to stamp on my nail after they've dried on the stamper. It's just like if you would put foil glue down. A lot of people likes to put foil glue down before their stamper. I used to do that and color in all these cute little designs with I'd put I'd put foil glue here, let it dry, stamp, and then I would put glitter on and then color in. Kind of like a reverse stamping, but you're using the Sharpie on top. Instead, I'm going to put it on. So it's been sitting here. I'm not cutting this. And we're just going to stamp right over the design. You just place wherever you want. And see, it's dry. You can just remove that. Do that after I get them all stamped. See, it didn't come off. That's what I'm really doing. I love it because I'm impatient for foil glue to dry. And this just cures in like 30 seconds in my lamp. So I love it, love it, love it for that. I even got my Model 1 stamper. It works with every stamper. Oh, and this, I'll show you what stamping polish I've got. This is Silver Key by Model 1's. See, it's dry, so I have to just tap it down. But it works. Get these out of my way. You can see how long I'm taking. I've still got one more to do. Taking my time. I could just wait to whenever. But if you don't use gel, you could use foil glue. It's just that foil glue sometimes leaves a line and I don't like that little line. You could just, since it's dry, you could just cut it off with your fingers, bend it over. flakes right off. I think I could do this with a dry brush. Still got it here. So that was Model 1's their silver, silver Key stamping polish. And I used the Moira Florility 2 stamping plate. Let's see. Just certainly, most certainly, stamp your image. If you don't have time to worry about what else you're going to do yet, you can stamp it. When you're ready, put the glue gel on and then go back and finish your manicure. What I really wanted to do was pull out some of my other colors. Let's see. Right here I've got, in this I've got 60 degree or 50 degrees Fahrenheit from Model 1's. Here I have Christmas Tree from Model 1's. This was in their Santa Day, I believe, collection. I'll put it on the screen if I've messed up. I'm wearing below 10, which is this color. I've got Gustav, that's the Budapest Hotel collection. I've got Endless Purple, which is this one, and this one's Ultraviolet. They're all Model 1 colors. I've just got out a simple, simple cheap dotting tool from, I believe, Wish. It's got a small N and a big N, and I just wanted to play. Here I took and mixed these two colors with a dotting tool or toothpick, whatever you got on hand. That's what I just mixed. It's about half and half, maybe a little bit more of the 50 degrees Fahrenheit and a little bit of Christmas tree. Just mix it till it's the color you want. Because I'm going to attempt to do a dot of cure and maybe some leaves over it. Sorry, my hand's going this way. So these are all gels. So I'm going to put 
the little dot in the middle. I like them that you flip them over, because then you can get a nice dot. With gels, you can just touch it right back over. You can do this with regular polish too, it doesn't matter. This is such a big nail. I'm gonna do it right in the middle of that one. Okay, and you know that my Nikki's been using these and I find out these are wonderful, just a cheap makeup sponge. Oops, you can't see it. Just dot off your dotting tool. Give this a little flash cure. Okay. I'm gonna also show you a trick with stripey tapes. If you don't like it, just wipe it off with alcohol. I'm going to skip this. I'm going to do some stripey tape, I think. Our Dale's nails the other day did stripey tape with foil glue. And my friend Girly Nail 66 went right out that night and filmed using stripey tape with the glue gel and it does work amazingly well. I mean stripping tape really can get on people's nerves. Don't want to stick, curls up. What I do for the tape, I've already got a few pieces sitting out here hooked to my little mat so that they are getting a little bit flat as I'm working. See that one, I don't like. Just gonna get some alcohol, wipe it off, because you can do that. Then remember which side I'm using. I'm using the little side for the center and the big side for the outers. It's just my preference. Do whatever you like to do. I'm gonna give this a good cure before I get out the stripey tape. All cured, very good. Make sure all my stuff is sticking down. I will need to get out a cleanup brush, possibly clean that up. But let's try the stripe tape. Remember, I've got glue gel cured on this nail still. And all these nails still, really, except for there's some gel on it. And I've got some stripey tape. So let's just give this a try. I can't find my little scissors, my little tiny, tiny scissors that I like to use. So I'm gonna have to guess, guess a little short. I 
with the hollow ones, it's really hard to tell which way is down. Long nails, you may want to use tweezers. And you can still pick it back up. My finger's so crooked that it's hard to tell when you actually have the stripe tape on straight. I'm going to put my little Swarovski gem on, but I need to put my top coat on first. And a lot of people have been having trouble because these bottles are lightweight and they would tip on some people. Just get out a little tack, put it on the bottom if you're having that trouble. And, you know, wibble wobble, but it won't fall down. So let me top coat these in and I'll give you some review shots. Or do you want to see me put the Swarovski on? I'll put the Swarovski on for you. Let me see if it'll stick to the glue gel as it is. I'm not sure. I don't think so. It sticks pretty good, but it's a Swarovski. I don't want to lose it. So all I do is put the top coat on, stick the gem in it, and then give it a cure. So I'm going to do that. And I'll give you some reveal pictures at the end of the video. Thank you everyone for being here with me today. Until next time, you be you and I'll be me. Bye-bye.